And a man convicted in a blue ash murder more than four decades ago has a chance to walk free. Good evening to you. I'm Evan Miller. And I'm Jasmine Stiles. New at 11, Douglas Payne is up for parole at the end of the month, but the victim's family hopes the Hamilton County program will keep him in prison. Valerie Lyons has that story. It's been 44 years, but the pain lingers for Mark Mahone. The pain is there and just never will go away. He thinks back to November 27, 1978, the day authorities say his 17 year old sister Lonnie was stabbed and killed. Her body was found a week later, two houses down from her blue ash home, dumped in the backyard well. A horror for us and still is. Law enforcement named then 20 year old Douglas Payne as a suspect. The next door neighbor and childhood friend. It was one of those scenes like, you know, from a movie. You know, during the week we were looking for her. Of course, he was helping us look for her. A judge sentenced Payne to life in prison. He's been eligible for parole, but each appeal ended in a denial. It's just a shame we have to repeat this and, and say the same thing every time. He's just one of many offenders Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office wants to keep off the streets. It's a program known as Parole Watch, and it allows you to be a part of the discussion. It's simple. Just click on the Parole Watch tab on the Hamilton County Prosecutor's website. Then choose an inmate, and at the bottom of the page, you'll be able to fill out some comments, either for or against their early release. To qualify for parole, prisoners must classify as low risk through good behavior, and if so, they're given the opportunity to transition back into society. A successful second chance for some, but Mahone argues it's not for everyone. We don't ever want him released and anyone like him. Not for the one convicted of cutting his sister's life short. Never. He's, he's where he belongs. He and his family have pleaded their case again, and now it's in the hands of the parole board. Here we go again. Just hurts all over again. But Mahone is hopeful the board will make the right decision. She had a promising future. Uh, and of course, you know, I love her. Keeping Lonnie's memory in mind now and forever. In Blue Ash, Valerie Lyons, WCPO 9 News.